Welcome to the Everyday Game Changers Podcast. You will hear from everyday people in business, music, community, and more who are changing the game. And now your host, marketing expert and personal branding specialist, Varian McQueen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Everyday Game Changers Podcast. I am your host, Baron McQueen, and you know how we do every day talking to everyday people that's changing the game in music, business, community, and more. And today's guest checks a lot of these boxes, <laughs> not just music, not just fashion, just overall entertainment, design. Uh, I mean, we could go so many ways, man. I got the fur god yeah. in the building. Up, How good. are you? I'm if, good, man. I'm, I'm getting my daily medicine. As you can see, <laughs> um, this is an everyday game changers first. <laughs> this is everyday game changers emergency. Uh, talk to me about this, man. What well, got your man in the building? Yeah, he coming yeah, yeah. through my, with the my drip. Boy, my boy Fabio from Care on Reels, man. He he uh, he took care of me last year, bro. And like, um, ever since then, we've been pretty cool, and he's been. You know, coming over to the crib and making sure I'm always like healthy. Wow, that's dope. And uh, up to date with all my shit and, and gives me all the latest vitamins, you know, and, and that's that's love. But most importantly, you saved my fucking life. That's, right. That's what 100%. was key, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, you know, I think that's that was our friendship from right then and there. And he, he's a good man, man. He's that's really, dope. and I, that's why I recommend him to everybody. Uh, I shout him out constantly. That's honor. You know, and I'm happy that he's here. So, yeah. so what's this he giving you right now? Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. What, what, what is it? What is it we got going on? Because I know this is new. I don't know. He said I got a new con concoction. I don't know. Oh. The, the 305 IV. There okay. You go. The 305, 305 IV. Oh, 305 man. IV. That's we getting it live. I know all you guys need that right there. Juju, I know you need it too. That's it, <laughs> man. So when I think fur guy, right? So just the term, uh. I'm like, man, I bet Peter chews him up. When you hear the name, oh, Peter. <laughs> right? What? What? Have you got any of that? Oh yeah. Or like, talk to me about the fur aspect of, like how it all. How yeah. It all got, got how you get to the fur guy? Well, honestly, the name was different when I first started off the first year. I started like in 2017, like around February. Okay. The name was Live Free. Live Free. That okay. was that was actually the whole like you know I was like oh I, you know I want to live free but at the same time my idea in the Bay I'm I'm from the Bay by the way got it born and raised San Francisco. Parents moved to the East Bay, so I got, you know, I got love on both sides, right? Dope, dope. But uh, in the Bay Area, you know, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's very liberal, you know what mm. I mean? Like, they, they fucking banned fur. Wow. You know, so, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, and, uh, so it wasn't really that kind of lifestyle, but growing up, it's it's like a mini New York, though. Yeah, 100%. It really is. That's dope. You know what I mean? I tell people that all the time, because we, we have our own lingo, we have our own swag, we have our own thing going on, you right. know what I mean? And... And it, it gets cold. It's not sunny like from yeah, yeah, LA. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Got like it. San Diego. Yeah, it's cold and it rains and it's foggy. It's yeah. like it's cold That's every dope. damn day. So jackets and sweaters are always was a big thing, right? So I was like, you know what? I want to do something different. I don't see furs out here, and I saw I got I got inspired by a couple dudes from New York that were doing the fur thing. I said, let me, let me do my research. I'm gonna figure this out. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, I, I ordered a couple. I kind of designed little things here and there. But my idea, my main idea, though, was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. I'm going to do it with girls. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like music video style videos with the girls wearing my thing and Dope. put that music and kind of tie that in. And Instagram was kind of coming up. Yeah. And so when that all transpired, it was like perfect time. I already had girls that I knew and. And the lifestyle was already there. Got it. But I never really had anything to kind of promote or brand. Now you about. got something. Yeah, got because it. you know it, it was just one of those things. I was just like, well, it's there, but what else? Well, how can I tie this in? So I'm like, okay, I got that idea. And then, um, sure enough, little things start popping off. And that first year in 2017, it was really good. And I got with stylists locally. They put me in fashion shows locally. Oh. Then I started doing the leathers with the hand painted thing. And then what really changed? And then I got the name Fur God. A, a boy of mine came into my office. He's like, you need to change your name, bro. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> Instagram name was like something weird, bro. I was like, whatever. I was like, he's like, no, you, this is important. You need to change that name. Damn. You need to be known somebody. You, mean, you need to be like, you know, like Bay God. There's there's food God. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's ugly God. 100%. And then he goes, you should be fur God. He goes, just like that, right? Oh, my gosh. And I go, fur God. And I go, that's a dope-ass name. But I told him like this. I said, listen, if, if it's available on Instagram, if I change it right here, right now, 
I'm gonna change everything. I'm gonna change the logo. I'm gonna do everything. Oh shit! And I right in front of him, I did it, and sure enough, it was it was available. Oh my god, that changed never, that it. never happens. Yeah, that's rare. Yeah, and I was like, oh shit, okay, well then it's fur god. Damn. And uh, and then you know your assistant asked me like oh, you know when she typed it in you know it's it's not it's there's no space so one word I said because I'm not God one word I'm one it. word it just pronounce it yeah I'm not God. got it you know what I mean dope. I'm not like that like that, so yeah. so talk to me from like the big of course how do you you always was good in fashion as a <laughs> kid how do you even get to this like what's the early for God doing <laughs> that's true you know what I I was a fucking little wild kid I was ADD like up the ass so. My parents would put me in a lot of sports. Yeah. When I got into high school, I kind of dabbed in a little bit on the shirt thing. Um, like screen print t-shirt type shit. Yeah, right? but, I, but at an early age, I, was, I had success at an early age uh, when I was like 20. Wow. I started in the mortgage business, and I was making like $70,000 a month. Wow. I bought my first house at 21. Dope. It was a $700,000 house in the suburbs in wow. San Francisco. That was my first house. Wow. And so... I kind of like focused on that, oh, and oh. I kind of for, forgot what I was really, what I really Supposedly. loved, and it was music. Ah. It was actually music because uh, my uncle got me into it, and he was, you know, from the streets. Obviously, just he was already in it, and he got me inspired, and that's why when I said I started the job at twenty, but at eighteen to to that twenty, I was I was in school. I went to Minnesota. Oh. I got to meet Prince. I got to meet BB King. Wow. I got to see Slipknot, Bjork. I saw him perform in the studio and uh yeah that 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 right there was my really passion my love is creating creating overall so it's all just creating things that's just what i music just go with fashion though now right yeah but then i lost myself with work okay but that success at an early age i never had that i never had that kind of money come in that's dope mortgages wow i didn't even expect that and the way that happened was my boy just said you know hey i got a job for you i know you speak spanish i just need you to make dials for my uncle Wow. And I was like, just dials? Like, but talk about what? Refinances and shit. I'm like, what is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. So the fur guy got mortgage experience. Yeah, I did that till I was 28. <laughs> I did that for a while, bro. Wow. I did that for a minute. And I worked for with, with some pretty well financial institution. I was the young guy amongst 40 year olds and 50 Of course. Years. Yeah, that really But I was game. good at talking. I was good at doing that's my fire. thing and, and just using my charm. Yeah. So, you know, and that's just Damn. basically how it worked. So, like, but as an entrepreneur, so I know when we first met, man, we just connected on so many different things. Topics. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. just like, oh. But see, that was later on in my life because you got to remember that time, 2008, I lost it all, bro. Oh, shit. Talk, to, talk yeah, about because it. because in 2008, the, car, the mortgage, mortgage crisis is, happened. Right. So I learned my lesson, mm. you know, and, and, you know, that, that took a, a big step back for me. Yeah. But at the same time, I, was, I, t- I had too much experience. That's dope. And so that experience and that networking amongst that that jo- or that industry right, right. led me to other things. Got and it. I, I was able to bounce back, but not, not nearly what it was before. Right. So I was chasing that. Because mm, you had it early. So that ambition yeah. was, was what's driving me the whole time. What can I do to get? Like, how could the fuck did I get that back? But doing something else. Right. Got it. That's dope. Because I knew I wasn't going to do that here unless That's I fun. really commit to this. And I knew in my back of my mind, I was like, I don't want to do this forever. I don't want to be in suit and tie and yeah. work for you know financial institution. But I did, I did yeah. because I knew it. It was paying everything that I and eventually it does work out because I was I worked hard to to fund what I was really wanting to do. It was the fashion, the fashion and the music. Yeah, and uh, so and like that. when you get like you already have this need for music, right? Like I, I want to do this, but what's that first studio experience like? Creating your first record, hard. It was difficult, but at the same time, I felt. It was kind of weird because, you know, when my uncle passed away, that kind of like put a damper of everything. Mm-hmm. But I, I, to this day, all his best friends, they hit me up like, bro, you know, Leonard lives in you. That's why I, I shout him out on my song sometimes. And, oh. and you know what I mean? Like, and, and it was a tragic to our family the way he passed. Oh, snap. And so it was, it was, a very, it was, yeah, it was a tragedy and it was just unexpected. Right. And that really like kind of got me back into like, okay how can I do something to kind of honor him, you know? Mm. But at the same time, it's living through me because he was so good at writing. He was so good at, 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 you know, describing everything, you know, and I, and, you know, I lived through that. So that's why I, I perfect myself. I'm not, and when I started going to the studio, I just kind of remember all that. Got you know it. what I mean? And it was just like me and him hitting it. My, 
I got a Triton keyboard, I remember, and I was just like with him, and I just remember all those times that we were just like making that beat, and he would be freestyling, and I'm like, yeah, 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 Damn. let's do this, and we add this, and then he'll come in and add, you know what I mean? And that, that really like, I love that, and I miss that. And I, I do that to this day when we go to the studio. I right. like being in an environment with creative people and just making the whole sound from scratch, and then the idea comes in and say, okay, I got the video, and then I hit up Raul, Raul, like, let's do the shoot. Like, let's fucking, I, I got this girl, I got this thing, I want to do the cover like this. Yeah. Then it becomes a whole nother, like... Project. Yeah, and that, that and but you it's, see it's it a coming. fulfillment with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it's done, it's off to the next. I don't right. even think about it anymore. That's I'm done. Dope. I'm like, okay, let's go to the next one now. That's fine. I tell him, like, I got another one. I got another one. And what's crazy, I think the hardest part about that process as from the music artists that I speak to, they never even get to that point, though. The finished product, right? Oh, they, got, got, I, they get in the studio, and they just hoard in music. It never comes out. It's no visual. It's no, mm. and you're doing it. What? How how important was that? Like I see you got the team. Shout out Raul shoots yeah, in the shout building. Yeah, Raul, man, that's my brother from the very Raul, beginning. Raul, if you want to spend some time working your thumb out, go through Raul's <laughs> yeah. fucking Instagram page. Yeah, You'll be shout busy. Out to Raul. Your eyes will be big. Shout out to Raul. The double man. tap will that's break. My boy, that's the guy. Yeah, that's man. the guy. But that's how is boy. that? Like, how did you guys meet? Through D, just through DM, bro. Like I, you know what? It was something that he he, yeah. It, you know, when we started at the beginning, it's actually Juju. Juju, Juju in one, the building? Juju in the building. Like, yeah, shout out to Juju. Because she, that, in 2017, I was in the Bay. In January of 2017, I set up, and shout out to Wood Drops, because he, he was the first to really put that video together, and he was so talented, man. Like, the guy's fucking genius. And um, I hit this girl up on DM, and I, and I, and I was like, hey, I'm coming to Miami, because I, I had some business out there. But I still was doing the fur. And and so I was like, listen, I'm a, I want to do a shoot. And I had an idea. I want to do like six or seven girls. I was like, who do you recommend to do the video? Mm-hmm. And this is my first time coming to Miami. Oh, shit. Like, not first time, <laughs> but first time to actual work right, and do right, a shoot. Right. Get right? some shit done. Yeah. And she's like, I got these guys. She sent me like three or four different video guys. I don't remember the other guys, but I do remember Woody when I saw yeah. his page. I was like, oh, he's very different. I like what he's doing. And that's when Woody... I, Contacted him through DM. Woody's like, hey, bro, like, I got these girls. I told him the idea. We talked. We hit it off. He's like, these are the girls I got. Juju was one of the girls. She was, and she was new. Like, she was just coming up. And uh, I was like, okay, I like Juju. And there was, like, five other girls, little T, you know. Blonde. You were blonde. Yeah, I remember. You were blonde. And, uh, and then uh, I had a house out there in North Miami, and beautiful big house right on the water. We had a yacht. The vibes. It was a full vibe. <laughs> and I was like, we're going to shoot right here. And they all came together. And shit you not, that's what really kicked off for me in Miami. Wow. Her and the other five girls. And me and Juju has been friends ever since. That's my ride and die. She's always been there for me uh, no matter what. Wow. And, you know, and that's what the kind of shit that I like, though. I, 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 I stick. I'm very loyal. I that's stick dope. to the people that have been there for me no matter yeah. what. And the new people that come in, I stay loyal with you. 100. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I'm genuine, you know, I try, you know, if I see hunger in you and I see potential in you, that's I fine. will invest my time that's dope. to put the effort into helping, right. you know, and that's always been me behind the scenes, but you know, take care of everybody. Yeah. I always take care of everyone as much as I can, Yeah, you know, and, and no matter what, you like, I always remember all the good things that everyone's done to me. Got it. You know what I'm saying? So, so Judy when, was a big part of that. So, so music, you making music, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? What would you put your music? Because I heard a song earlier, yeah. and I just was just like, I was bopping. What what's, what's what would you do? You put yourself in the lane? I don't know, man. Or like, like I feel like you, you bringing remember. a you bringing a sound. Let, let's say a Miami sound that's missing. Because it sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, I, I feel mean, like everything is not fun. Music it's not should fun. be. Fun. You're right. You're right. I feel like we're missing the fun shit. You know what I mean? And and. You know, I blame Kurt Cobain for this shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love Kurt Cobain. But yeah, no, I mean, you got to remember music. I grew up in music, bro. I, I, I loved every genre. My dad was was big on music, bro. Like, growing up, I remember he would put on, like, crazy, like, uh, Billy Idol. Oh, shit. I love Billy Idol. That's that's my guy. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, that, I listened to the bio. I was like, really? Yeah. I listened to a lot of rock. My dad got me into rock. Then the R&B come in. And then, uh, then, then the 90s, you know, early 90s hit. It was more... You know, um, it was uh, who's the NWA? He play, he played me NWA. Um, then he played uh, man, oh god, 
Domino. Oh, Domino, gosh. like wait, so wait, the yeah. range is yeah, and then and then you know as I got older, you start finding then Tupac yo. started coming okay. in, Biggie started coming in, Wu Tang, Nas, all these other things. And I'm like, oh, who are these people? But then you have your locals too, right? You know, and, and um, Too Short was big. Got it. You know, Too Short was my shit. You know, um, but I was also loved East Coast music. I love New York music. And then uh, you know what's crazy? I met DJ Laz the other day. Mm. I didn't know who he was. I like they were like, "Oh, he's a legend." All this, hell yeah. And then I was like, I, I, "I'm like, yeah." And I'm meeting him. He was cool. We're vibing, yeah. right? And then I went home. I didn't say nothing. I was just cool with him. And I went home. I was like, "DJ Laz, let me see what he did." And I listened to all that old school bopping, yeah, booty shaking. Yeah, you know. I'm like, "Oh my god, I remember this." That's the guy. I'm like, this is part of my inspiration. That's the guy. You know, and it was all about fun, right? That's like, all that music was fun. And I don't know, my genre is whatever. You know, it's it just whatever I feel anyway. But at the end of the day, I'm not trying to sit here and fucking be negative at the same time. I'm just, I'm just myself. I'm just talking about what I do anyway. So for you, it's like, no, you don't feel like pressure to release music. You no, just because. You release it when you want. Yeah, because it's, it's. It's just something that I, I It goes doing. with everything. Yeah. It goes with the fashion. It goes with. I the, guess, yeah, it does go all in hand, but. Yeah. It just it gives me fulfillment to finish something, and if mm. I have an idea, I gotta do it. That's fine. The same thing that I do with other projects is there's something I believe in. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go all the way. Dope. And I don't do it half ass. Yeah. I we get see. the best. I want the best. I, I want the best. Hundred percent. I work with the best, the and I and if I see the best, I'm gonna fucking make you get. Uh, you know, coming my background, my background, what it, 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 my daily life was to get the best out of you and make you make you Dope. move on. Yeah. And get and get better and make more money. Hundred percent. When I managed, right? So. You know, th th that's part of me. But, you know, th at the same time, if I see potential, I'm a fucking, I, I want it. That's it. Yeah, I want it. And I'll, I'll make you better. I, I see it, man. Yeah. We got we got the vitals going. We got Raul. Oh, yeah, yeah. Building, How am I doing? Juju in the am building. I good? Oh, damn, you put a lot in there. Talk to me about, like, some of your other entrepreneur ventures. Like, I know you got your hand in a lot. Like, Well, a lot of people reach out to me about, um, certain things and um, two of the biggest ones that I'm working on right now. Uh, the first one uh, was the uh, energy drink. I, I should have brought it. That's bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> we don't got no energy drinks for y'all, but we'll let y'all know what you the know name what? Of that forget, is. forget this Red Bull. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> so no, but uh, the energy drink, uh, the, the, you know, I had I, in the Bay Area, there's a lot of innovative people out there. You know? Okay. I think the Bay Area is really advanced. Dope. On a lot of shit, you know what I mean? And, and um, they had a process where they took not CBD, but CBDA, they called it. Mm. And they patented it. And uh, I had a meeting with them. They were explaining to me what CBDA is. And, and this is the original extract. And, you know, this has a thousand times more stronger than CBD. And you don't need that much. And I was like, okay, cool. What do you want me to do with it? And he goes, well, we have, uh, <laughs> he's like, well, we have these little waters and shooters and all that. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, no, nah, I don't like that. Yeah. I was like, do you have an energy drink? He goes, no, I don't. I was like, can you make it for me? And I'll do it. And oh, he goes, shit. Well, what do you mean the energy drink? You, you want me to just put caffeine in it? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to put caffeine in it. He's like, I think I could do that. Oh, and shit. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's I'll see. think of all the ideas. I, and I Right then in that meeting, like. All in one. I was like, okay, I think I got a name for it. I oh. think I got a, a design in my mind. Let me call my guy. Wow. And it just took off from there. That's, that's what happens with me. As soon as I get it, and I'm like, okay. And then make sure you add B12. We're going to make it a high-end can. And zero calories, no sugar. Wow. I want it to be healthy since we're already promoting a healthy milligrams of CBD that's supposed to be helpful for you. It wouldn't make sense to put sugar and all this other wow. bad preservatives in it. So I was like, okay, we'll do that. And, and I was like, okay, I already got the name. It's called NT. I'm half Peruvian. Oh, so, shit. So, you know, I just came back from Machu Picchu. So that was already Damn. stuck in my brain. And I'm like, okay, we're going to call it Inti. And we'll go from there. And then Inti is the sun god. Mm, I didn't know that. Uh, in, in For the Incas. Okay. And so I was like, okay, I got it. And I called my, my graphic guy and I was like, hey, I have a vision. I have a dream. This is what I want. And the Incas believed in three things. was the condor, the, the, the puma. And the snake, and it all represent the heaven, the middle earth, and hell, right? Wow. In their mind. Got it. And so I designed that whole thing, and that was the whole purpose of that. And then shit took off, so that's Angel's going to love this episode because Angel, uh -huh. uh, my DP over here, yeah. he's always like, man, I always have these ideas, 
and you the one person that just does them. I don't do them. Um, I just got a list of them, and I'm listening to this story. And you just go like, yo, yeah, let's do it. But it was experience. Okay. I think I think that you, you know once you get a taste of of that whatever you're trying to accomplish, right. it becomes easier to find the things that you want yeah. to do. And you just, That's what I've noticed in, in time got it. as I got older. You know what I mean? Because when you get, you're in the middle of something, you don't, you, you're, you're scared because you don't know. 100%. You don't know what to do or what, what else is going to be. I'm like, no, nah, fuck this. I'm not scared of anything now. Fuck that. Let's I already took enough, I took enough L's to know. 100%. Like, hey, it, you know Let's what? Go. If I lose, I lose. But you know what? I got my vision. I know what I need That's to do fine. and I'll get it. You know? That's dope. So it just took time though. It, it's all. What's your, from, so you've, you frequent back and forth from the Bay to Miami a lot, right? Well, or you haven't yeah, been back. I, I, to be honest with you, I haven't been back for really since last year of July. Okay, I did a, a pro, like I did a little club out there, but I'm going back. Got I'm it. Going back this year, but it's just because you know, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to talk about politics, but it's just too, it's too crazy sometimes with that during that time period with the COVID. Got it. In San Francisco, especially, mm. they, they, they really like. We're doing a number, and I was already contemplating moving to Miami because my 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 whole vibe and my whole way of branding yeah. was more Miami. Worked type. here, yeah, yeah, and, and the lifestyle, right? Got it. And so I was already contemplating at that, and the way it happened was I was out here doing a shoot, a magazine shoot. Mm -hmm. I had my PR; she was putting it all together. She's like, "We gotta go to Miami. We'll do the shoot." And I was like, "Okay, cool." And after we're done with the shoot, I said, "I'm not going back." <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. All I had was my luggage. Damn. I'm not going back. I'm staying here. I'm wow. gonna find a place. And she's like, What? I was like, yeah. I was like I'm not going back home. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, I'm not coming back. I should have said goodbye before I left. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm not coming back. I'm staying. She's like, What? What are you gonna do with all your stuff here? I was like, well, just I'll call you and I'll let you know and pack it up and stuff. Wow. Me. And sure enough, I stayed, found my place and I haven't been back. And then I only went back that one time in July and then yeah. I feel like that was it. If somebody Googles fur guy, right? Oh, God. And as soon as they Google fur guy and they see this lifestyle, right? Mm. I don't think they get all of this that you're giving me today. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was telling somebody that the other day, like, people, and that's okay because, you know, that's part of the. You're Is that gonna, on purpose? Yeah, I did it on purpose because I know, I know you're going to get a, 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 whatever, you know, what a you label saw. or what you see or what okay. it is. And I like shocking people when you talk to me. This is why this is this is why we have this show. Yeah, it's so I like I like right? when people talk to me because then you understand how I think and how I go about my life, and everything is calculated, everything is planned, right? You know, and I know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> you know, the secret genius. Yeah, but at the same time, I was nervous when I first did it. Oh shit! Putting that because I was like, at first I didn't have no followers, but it was my mom, my, oh. <laughs> my aunts, my <laughs> right. family members. But you, you know? built this up. But I really built it from scratch, from nothing. That's fine. Just doing what I kept doing. I kept, and I, it was consistency, bro. Mm. I had the vision already. I knew what I needed to do. Right. It was consistent because I knew how I was as a person. Right. And when people get to know me, damn, that was already the the key to because everyone talked. Yeah. Everyone always talks. That's how we chop That's it up. That's how everyone chops up. Everyone learns about something. That's how yeah. I met a couple of her friends. She talks. She tells yeah. her nothing but good things. But why? Because I am. It's, it's true. Right. You know, I don't, I, I have a vision. I do things and I love working. I, but at the same time, yeah, I have fun. Yeah. But it's not what everyone thinks. But I let everyone think that. Yeah. I'm a, you're a real yeah, person, right? Yeah, but I'm a fucking real person. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm in depth. I, I, I'm very... You know, smart. I could talk. You I, know. When we was at, uh, shout out Tony Visions, David Woods, man. Yeah, yeah. My guy. Um, I met you first Rolling Loud weekend, right? Was it? Well, I met you at uh, Dash. We had yeah. The, the thing. Okay. We so had, the we, Rolling we Loud the weekend, they did the bang. Yeah, that bang event. Okay. So I connected that with them. Got it. So then I seen you at Tony's, and it's like then we actually got to chop it up. Yeah, you actually got to. to yeah. To so, but see, in that in that setting, it was already like was I'm in the mode. Like yeah, I'm ready to make studio some music. vibes. Yeah, right? I was like, ah, come on, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. really talk. You know what I mean? I'm ready to make some. And then I'm like, oh, after just one conversation, I'm like, I gotta have him on the podcast because I don't think people, if they just Google Fergot and they see, they like, okay, he got always got good girls with him. Is he a pimp? Is he a, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I get that all the time. So it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, is yeah. he like got an escort service? You don't know, yeah, right? Yeah, no, it's not. It, so when we had this conversation, I'm like, I gotta have him on because nobody's gonna know. These conversations we having right now yeah. is some real shit. Yeah, no, and, it's, it, 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 and I get it all the time, bro. That's crazy. Like seriously, 
girls be like, oh, you know, you got so many hot girls with you. Why are you fucking talking to me? Like, I get all this shit. You What's the craziest me? DM you got? Oh, bro. I had one guy <laughs> try to sell me a bricks of cocaine from the, oh, the Dominican shit. Republic. Really? He sent me a picture. He goes, I don't know what to do with this. And uh, are you interested? He put it in Spanish. I said, what the fuck is this man is crazy. And don't know you. I don't know this man. Yeah, you try it. Because he I, see the lifestyle and he thinks. I don't know what he saw, but I said, <laughs> I, I didn't even respond. I, I took a snapshot of that. I was like, listen, I took it to my boys. I was like, you see this crazy shit? Wow. This guy had bricks. Lady, he goes, it, it, it was up, it came up short, which I believe. Yeah. Because it, it probably does happen a lot. And he says, it came up on, on the beach of the shore and I have it all here. You know, would you be interested? Would you fly out oh here? Oh my like, gosh. I'm like, this man is serious. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh my god! Yeah, that was probably and that was recent. Oh my, that so, was probably I, that's the only thing I can remember because I don't remember. I get so many I don't remember all of them, but that was the recent one that I could. What's think of. the craziest? So when I see the, like now we had conversations, so I'm like, yo, fur guy is deep. Like I know now, but maybe the world don't know. So when somebody looks at fur guy, it's a lifestyle, right? It's like yeah, I, high I so. fashion. It's good. Good. We go Time. out. We go yeah. out to nice dinners. Yeah. We party. I'm always with beautiful women. What's the craziest yeah. night that you can remember? Oh. <laughs> it was never with Juju. Juju was. We always had good times, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Uh, I'm trying to think. What the fuck did I have? Uh, there's always. I mean, four girls sometimes. Oh shit! But that was yeah. This, that's wild. Those are wild because most most of the times the girls don't even know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many. Like, Oh my goodness! I've, uh, Everybody's living vicariously. Everyone's, everyone's all, through, all, through, all everywhere around. I'm looking. I'm like, uh, oh my! Let me goodness. direct this. Nah. Oh shit! <laughs> nah, but it's. I mean, yeah, you have your moments. You have fun, but yeah. uh, that's there's always crazy shit happening, man. But the the worst ones are the ones that their exes come and hit me up on. Oh shit! Oh my god! I had one time this one. I won't say names, but it. it, it <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to a concert. We were backstage, whatnot. And this girl came up and saw me, right? She goes, Burr. And she already knows the side. She goes, Come, film me. She's like shaking her ass. She like, ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going. She ready. Yeah, yeah. And she's shaking it. I'm like, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm grabbing it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes off with 6 9 right? I see 6 9 She goes off with 6 Oh, six, shit. Nine. Oh, she probably already knows. If we put this out, she's probably going to know. <laughs> but, um, and then I think like a week later. I get I get a DM, and I see that he sends pictures, the snapshot of me grabbing her ass. Oh, shit. Doing the whole, like, you know. And he sends this long-ass fucking thing, like, bro, if you ever touch my girl's ass again, oh, it's going to be problem. And this is not the first time. I got many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, but this was probably the most one that I can remember that I feel like fucking telling. I don't care. But, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's like, he, he gave me this whole long-ass fucking shit threatening me, whatever. And I simply, I replied back. I said, listen, call me. Yeah. I texted, gave him my number. I was like, I'm not going to text you. Call me. Oh, shit. And sure enough, this man calls me. Did he? Yeah, he called me. <laughs> she got some And it, you could hear the, the voice. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I was like, oh, this man's nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> fucked him up. <laughs> yeah. You oh, fucked him up. He, he, call me. Get the, he wasn't thinking this was going to happen. <laughs> but I'm an adult, bro. I'm not of a course. kid. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I'm not going to fall for all that bullshit. I'm not going to take my time. I'm not going to waste my time with that. So, you know, he called me, and I hear him like, hey, uh, hey yeah, you know, he just like, stutters, you know? The nerd came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I was like, uh, hey, yeah, this is a blue. I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? Like, listen, man, I'm going to tell you straight up. You need to check your girl. Don't check me, because your Facts. girl is the one coming up to me. She already knows what's up. Facts. I don't know if she has a boyfriend or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need to check your girl, because she wasn't with me. Right. I'll tell you that right now. Wow. She went off with somebody else. <laughs> She goes, what? Oh, what do you mean? I was like, bro, I don't know, bro. I yeah. just saw her with 6 9 That's all I got to tell you. Oh, shit. <laughs> so now you got and, another person and to I call. Was like, yeah. I was like, good luck trying to reach that fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. DM that fool. You know, but uh, but yeah, I just told him, like, listen, man, you can't get you can't get you can't get too upset about me. Yeah. Don't send that to, to the guys, bro. Like, you need Less, to check your girl. Lesson, lesson your learned. These, these is lessons learned, fellas. <laughs> And ladies, yeah, don't get into. Don't check the other person. Please check who you live under your house, your roof with, right? Seriously, bro. So, dream collaborations. What what what's, what's a dream collaboration for Fur God for music? Music? Yes. Mm. I would say music and fashion. I feel like Fur God and like a Fendi collab would be, be great. Dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fashion. I mean, I, give me both. Give me fashion and music. You, you know what? I never. I'm gonna be honest with you. I never really think about that 
the music aspect? Uh, the music aspect, I think, I'm just, uh, you know what? Because a lot of my idols were, uh, were, were local. Oh, okay. shout out, to, shout out to Hitter Slim, you know, because he really got me into the music, back yeah. into the music, and he, he, he was, uh, he's, a, he was, a, he's a legend in the Bay Area. You so, know what I mean? He, he, he grew up with a lot of local rappers that had that. He has a tons of respect too, by the way, man. We yeah. go everywhere. Too short. Everybody knows what's up, who he is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, shout him out because he really got it, got that music back out of me and, and said, bro, you already you have the lifestyle, bro. Everyone dreams of what you do yeah, already. 100%. And I don't think about it like that. Yeah, you're just living life. I'm just enjoying my life. You know what <laughs> I mean? And, um, but at the same time, he was like, bro, you have it. Yeah. Just do it. Don't. And he got it out. And I was like, fuck it. All right. And we did a song together yeah. called Tongue Out. That was my first really track that we did. And we did the video during the pandemic. Damn. And we found a place in the Bay and we're just like, fuck it, let's do this. And we do it like that. And so it was cool as a vibe. But, you know, um, so, you know, little things like that were always, those were like my mentors growing up because I have real people. Right, right, right. That I could say I did with. Got you know, it. That I did something it's with. It's more you personal. Know what I mean, like it's more personal for Got me. Got it. I always tell people if you're going to have a mentor, have somebody that's close by that's, Dope. you know, right there. You know what I mean? And so fashion and all that shit, it, it, I'm grateful for whatever happens. Got I it. don't really try not to think of that. You know, I, I have more, I'm building me right now. Right. That's I want, the, I want, you know, and if, if somebody reaches out, then it's shit. I'm doing something right, right, right. So it's a dream and it's a blessing to work with anybody that yeah. I do. Because there's a lot of talent out there. 100%. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I try not to get over the top with that. You know, my, my thing is just like, all right, let's just stick to what my process is. Right. And if what there's an idea. Along, right, right. Yeah, it comes along. And then if there's somebody that I listen to that I, I met. Yeah. Which I, I remember one of my idols when he said my fur god it was during that time right? one of my idols that I grew up listening to were in the bar and he and he and he and his name is Andre Nicotina. I don't know if anyone's not familiar with that, but he's he's pretty legend in the bay, right? He he's he's been doing it for a long ass time and, and that man was uh, sitting in the bar and we he was, you know, he already saw what I was doing with the girls and right. the fur, right? And he sits down and he's he's very chill, he's very like serious, you know, he's drinking his whiskey. And he goes, he's in the bar, and he turns around. He goes, Fur God. That's a dope fucking name. Oh, <laughs> he fucking takes his whole shot, takes it down, oh, and leaves, just bro. Yeah, and I was like, damn, that's dope. Man, that was my idol growing up. So, wow. that, you know, it was great to, to kind of see that, you know. and Get that right. And now it's like some of the models that I see now, that was kind of one of my things, like who I wanted to work with. Now mm. I'm working with them, like, that are big time, normal. you know what I mean? That's normal now. And it's like, wow, I'm like, you know, every, so all these, it's not just one thing. That's what's crazy. It's just. All of it connected. It's though. all of it. And That's it's fine. just happening more and more. And, and, you know, I got a lot of people watching me. A lot of people, big time people watching me. And, and it's, it's, it's humbling. But at the same time, I'm still being me. Yeah. I'm not going to change. You don't got to turn it off because that's you. No, it is. It's, right. It really is, you know. So it's. I'm just grateful for where I'm at. That's dope. So, like, if you could, like, usually on this podcast, like, I always tell somebody, leave me with, like, I got a bunch of, like, entrepreneurs that follow the podcast and business owners and people want to leave their nine to five and all of those mm, th yeah, things. Yeah. And you've went through a lot of different industries and seen some success. What's one advice you can give somebody? Somebody's Googling right now fur guy, right? And they're like, oh, my gosh, he's on yachts with yeah, all the good. beautiful girls and yeah. fur and He's iced out and, and what advice can you give? Not because that's that's the brand, right? Yeah. But what advice can you give them to like, yo, as far as your process? Like I went through like you lost everything and got it back, right? What, yeah. what advice can you leave for those people? Well, I mean, every, every day is a learning lesson, right? Everything you do is learning. Um, but I, a lot of people tend to, when they want to be an entrepreneur, they... They tend to like, okay, where am I getting the money from? Mm. And they kind of lose vision of like where you're at right now in mm. your life. Um, and I think that was one of the reasons why I knew I couldn't leave what I was already doing. Right. I needed to work hard to make more money in order to fund it. Because I, I, one thing my mom taught me, and my mom was an entrepreneur, by the way, like true fucking entrepreneur. Right. That woman, since she was 15, she ran away. She fucking hustled, right? Wow. Like this woman is, didn't graduate high school. She's always been hustling. And done very well her whole life. And her one advice she always told me, she goes, don't ever partner up with anybody. Don't ever ask for anybody money and work hard for it. It's always stuck with me. Dope. So my mom always would be like, you know, stick to the job you're doing right now. Work hard. Keep working your, your way up. And you're going to get more money. And then eventually you're going to have enough to where you could do what you really want to love to do. Dope. 
And so that's my advice for people to, to it's okay to work a regular job. Yeah. It's okay to, you know, focus so on that. So glad somebody else said that. Yeah. And it's not just coming from me. I appreciate <laughs> that. Everybody thinks I'm anti nine to five because yeah, no. I'm like big on entrepreneurship. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm for the nine to five. Right. It just didn't work for me. Yeah. But I'm like, use your nine to five to yeah. fund your five to nine. Yeah, right. Because, you know, I, and, and the work, I was working in a financial institution. So it, it taught me a lot. Right. Especially managing money. Uh, not just money, but managing people. Got it. And communicating with people. Dope. Um, and not discourage people, but help people understand why. Mm. That if I didn't go through that, yeah, I wouldn't be having these conversations. I wouldn't 100%. be fucking meeting people left and right and having that network. That's dope. When I do talk to people, I see it. And then when I'm working with people, I don't yell. I I, I, I tell <laughs> them like what I want. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't yell at anybody. Have I ever yelled at you now? Never. <laughs> I don't yell. That's, I, that's, that's not me. I, but I communicate. And if dope. I didn't have that background of what I did and worked my way up and learned that, and they taught me how to do that. Right. I didn't go to college. Got it. I, I didn't. It was just, it was hard for me. It was hard for me to, to, to sit there in class. I couldn't. Agree. I went to fucking, in, I went to continuation school. I graduated from continuation school. I was like, I hated school. Right. You know what I mean? So. You know, it, you just got to know, you just got to believe in yourself and know yourself. That's dope. You really do, bro. Like, yeah. if you know what you're good at, then stick with it. That's it. Ain't no bad, no wrong way. And if you're working at a nine to five, dude, that's okay. Yeah. You, at least you're learning something. Pick up something from that. And use it. You know, use it. Yeah, right. because there's something always to learn. 100%. That's, that's, that's my best advice. Don't, don't listen to everyone else, what they're doing, what they ought to do. Y'all ain't hear it from me this time. You heard it from the fur yeah, guy, man. True, Finally, it's somebody true. else said it. Yo, I'm your boy, Barry McQueen. Thank you, bro. Oh, yeah. No I problem, appreciate bro. you. Tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Easy, fur God, F-U-R-G-O-D. Um, everything is fur God. Everything's Spotify. That's music, it. Music, everything. He's Googleable. So <laughs> yeah, you make sure you everything. Google fur God, man. I'm your boy, Barry McQueen. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Yo. Everyday Game Changers.